What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the Coach Plays here, guys. If you're new to the channel, as always, welcome. Hit that like button. It helps out the stream. And as always, if you haven't yet subscribed to the Coach Plays, consider doing so, guys. we got a hashtag road to 1K. All right, so the Daytona 500 uh, concluded today. It ended, and uh, Denny Hamlin is your Daytona 500 champion. But that's really not the story of this Daytona 500 here in the year 2020. The story is the horrific crash um, on the last lap approaching the uh, finish line of the Daytona 500. Uh, Denny Hamlin wins, but number 12, Ryan Blaney, got his nose under the rear bumper of Ryan Newman's car at the very end of the race and ended up forcing him into the wall which left him into a flipping situation where he was hit multiple times until instantly it was a very situ uh, serious situation where uh, all of NASCAR's uh, praying over his safety uh, tonight but uh, a statement has been released on the status of Roush Fen uh, Fenway racing driver Ryan Newman and, and it is some good news, but it's still serious. Uh, Ryan Newman is being treated at the Halifax Medical Center. He is in serious condition, but doctors have indicated his injuries are not life-threatening. We appreciate your thoughts and prayers and ask you to respect the privacy of Ryan and his family during this time. We appreciate your patience and cooperation, and we will provide more information as it becomes available. Uh, I'm about to put it up here if you haven't already seen it, uh, at least some images or, or some video uh, but as we're watching this, I think Ryan Blaney uh, should probably, to be honest, uh, get some sort of suspension for this. I think he should have backed off. While, yes, Ryan Newman's probably blocking a little bit. He's trying to win the Daytona 500. And, yes, I know Blaney is also, too. But at some point, you've got to back off. And I, I'd, seen, I'd seen no uh, backing off of Blaney. I, I'd seen him just con continuously uh putting his uh, bumper in uh, his front of his car into his back bumper and while yes Rubin's racing you you've got to be you got to be safe you got to be smart in these situations because we've seen uh, some bad things happen in NASCAR uh, at the Daytona 500 so I, so as I look into this uh, Newman's block and he goes to block low but I mean Blaney is all over him and he sends him off into the wall of course, Denny Hamlin, luckily Blaney didn't win this race, but you can see right there that the car is just on fire. Um, the hood is completely crashed in. Flames are going everywhere. Uh, Denny Hamlin wins the race as he was able to pass Blaney. And like I say, I'm, honestly, I'm happy. I, Blaney does not deserve to win this. Ryan Newman should have won the Daytona 500. Uh, but, and then you can see the gas just pouring out. I mean, it, it's a... Uh, it's a really bad lunk, and it's, you know, as far as NASCAR is concerned, uh, the crashes and things like that, and you, you won't, you really want some hard racing, you won't bump in and things like that, and, and wrecks are going to happen, accidents are going to happen like that, I mean, it's a part of the sport, they, they, they do this sport for a reason, and they, and they know what uh, risk comes involved with it, but I think this is an opportunity for NASCAR to maybe lunk into this. Uh, I'm not your biggest NASCAR fan, things like that, but I've watched a lot of racing in my past, and I feel like Blaney could have easily backed off there, uh, but he intended to go forward, and it ended up resulting in a very bad crash. And like I say, thoughts and prayers are with Ryan Newman. It looks like he's going to be okay, but, uh, I mean, this is something that could end Ryan Newman's uh, the rest of the season. I mean, we don't know. Hopefully not. Hopefully he comes right back, you know, and gets back after it. But uh, I just want to uh, – I wanted to put this out there as an update for Ryan Newman. Some good news that, you know, it's not life-threatening, but he is in serious condition. So, guys, what do you think about the crash right there? What do you think about the Daytona 500? And should Blaney uh, get some sort of uh, punishment due to this? Like I say, I, I think he could have backed off. Uh, but we'll see. I, I'll leave it up to you all, guys. Uh, as always – Appreciate you watching the Coach Plays YouTube channel. As always, hit that like button and consider subscribing, guys. And until next time, peace.